Salt is in the spotlight. First, the Food and Drug Administration mandates new nutrition labels highlighting sugar levels. And now, just a few weeks later, the FDA issues voluntary guidelines limiting salt content in packaged food and restaurant meals. The effort is aimed at bringing daily salt intake down to 2,300 milligrams from a current average of about 3,400. Here with more analysis is Dr. Robert Silverman, a certified clinical nutritionist with a private practice in White Plains, New York. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Silverman. People tend to be at least somewhat aware of their sugar intake, but do you think there's a similar awareness for sodium? I mean, it's in so many foods from bread to canned beans. No, unfortunately there's not. I mean, the media's done a great job of creating an awareness for sugar, but we haven't talked enough about sodium and salt. So, as we mentioned earlier, the current average amount of salt intake is about 3,400 milligrams, or about one and a half teaspoons. Which are the foods with hidden salt do you think that most people really don't know about? The processed foods. That's enormously large. Just one processed meal will give you enough sodium for a three-day intake. Um, the pasteurized foods are also an issue. And believe it or not, I mean, most people do know this, the fish. The seafood, very high in salt. Wow, now so what are the dangers of too much sodium over a lifetime? Over a lifetime, it ultimately leads to high blood pressure. What happens is when we consume too much sodium, we need more blood to dilute it. That diluted blood and water in the area raises the pressure against the arteries, leading to high blood pressure. Ultimately, also possibly allowing the heart to work too hard. So high sodium intake leads to high blood pressure that could ultimately lead to CVD and heart disease. Okay, very, very serious outcome. So how do you personally advise your patients to reduce and be more aware of their salt intake? I have nobody on any kind of therapeutic lifestyle challenge and any salt, any foods. I'm a big believer in whole foods, not processed foods. So we start with those two things. In addition, exercise has shown to decrease high blood pressure. So within a therapeutic lifestyle, a proper diet, exercise, and of course, stress reduction. Are there any processed foods though that are okay? Some of us are so busy, we can't always cook every meal for ourselves. If we have to grab something, what are the safest things to grab? Yogurts, fruits, some sort of salads. I think those are great choices. Quality protein bars are also an excellent choice. I know it's hard when we all eat on the run. I can relate to that. However, remember, Jim Rome said, take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Absolutely. Great advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Robert Silverman, for that. Have a great day now.